Zwift have just launched a brand new course, Zwift New York. So we thought we'd take a look around and then tell you the key facts that you need to know. Zwift New York is based largely around Central Park and in total you get 24.945 kilometers of new roads. Now Central Park is a really popular riding destination for actual real life New York based cyclists, both training and racing. And in fact, it was the spot where Zwift co-founder Eric Min actually got his first taste of bike racing as a junior. Don't worry Eric, we won't tell him when it was. This isn't New York as we know it though. This is New York 100 years in the future. Oh yeah, and that means that Zwift have given themselves license to tweak the New York skyline ever so slightly, including creating some mega skyscrapers. And there's also a load of Zwift takes on some of the more familiar New York based scenes as well, like the horse-drawn carriages, which are now kind of electric hover horses uh, and you've also got various different looking statues littered around Central Park and this being New York well it wouldn't be New York if you didn't have hot dog sellers in fact you've got 28 of them and you've also got lots and lots of pigeons and by my reckoning this is also the first Zwift course to have cars although don't worry they are electric and they fly although unfortunately for them they're often stuck in traffic so yes Traffic jams are still in the vision of the future. Those 24.945 kilometers of new roads make up 13 different loops. Now, of those loops, 10 of them are for cyclists and runners, and three of them are for runners only. More on that a little bit later on. Now, among those loops, you have the Everything Bagel, which includes the KOM and the Sprint, in both directions over its 34 kilometers in length. You've got those for climbers, it's like Rising Empire. And then you've got those that are predominantly flat and fast, so for your sprinters, like Six Train. In fact, the loops can broadly be split into two categories. Those that are flat and fast, and they kind of stick on the actual real life roads in Central Park. And then those for the climbers, which take off into the skies on suspended roads. You know, I wasn't sure what I'd think about futuristic course, but I actually really like it. It's properly cool. Why limit yourself to the real world when you can kind of do whatever you like? Suspended roads, ah yes. One of the undoubted highlights of the Zwift New York course build is the ability to go skyward on an otherwise undulating Manhattan Island, although, can I just say, amid those undulations, some pretty nasty little kickers on what you'd otherwise think are flat and fast courses. But it's when you really want to do some climbing, Zwift have built these, as you can see, opaque roadways that are elevated above Central Park and also the buildings of Manhattan as well, giving you pretty incredible views of the whole thing. So any of the climbing courses or loops in New York will feature these elevated roadways on their way up to the KOM, which also features these really cool like news ticket style graphics that let you know who is the fastest person up the climb. And what a climb it is. I mean, the sections here, they're up to 16% in gradient, which actually makes it some of the steepest roadways in the whole of Zwift. Oh. Now, as you might expect from a Zwift city course, there are all sorts of famous landmarks as you ride or run, more on that later, around your chosen loop, including the iconic El Dorado Hotel, which is quite a striking art deco building just opposite the reservoir in the park. As you will no doubt be aware, it's been home to various famous people over the years, like Alec Baldwin and Michael J. Fox, who will undoubtedly feel at home in this futuristic landscape. And just, in fact, like the Guggenheim Museum, which is also on here, and actually does look strange at home in this futuristic landscape. So what about these runners then? Well, for the first time ever, Zwift have created a world that's optimised for both cyclists 
and runners as well. The reason being is that if you've ever been to real life Central Park, you will see that there are thousands of cyclists and runners that both share the same roads and plazas there. And so the Zwift creators were adamant that in their New York, they wanted it to share that same kind of communal feeling that you get when training in the real world. And so that's why when you're out on your bike in Zwift, you will also from time to time see runners sharing the same roads. I tell you what, I hope I don't ever get taken by one. I mean, I will, undoubtedly, but I'm not looking forward to the day. Right then, so that is a brief synopsis of Zwift New York. Make sure you let us know what you think in the comments section down below. Are you going to be lining up for a lap or two of Central Park in the future? Now, if you like what you see on Zwift, but you're actually not on it yet already, and you want a bit more info, we have got a video about the basic setup of it. You can get through to that one on screen now. Also, make sure that you're up to date with the Innsbruck course. It was also released earlier this year. I'm sorry, I've had enough of being overtaken. Who are these people riding at 600 watts 